Hi, Justyna and Kuba. We are a couple from Poland who travels around Europe in search of traces of our prehistory and inspiring places. And everything we find, we share with you in our videos. Welcome to Oitsuf National Park, picturesque and full of impressive rocks, the smallest national park of Poland. This charming gem is located 15 km north of Krakow. Numerous architectural monuments are located within the park. These include the Renaissance Castle in Pieskowa Skała and the ruins of Gothic Castle in Oitsuf. Both these castles were links of the medieval defense system protecting the southwestern border of Poland. The oldest traces of human presence in these areas come from 500,000 years ago. Pieskowa Skała Castle It was probably established in the second half of the 14th century under King Casimir the Great. Without going into details, after several damages and reconstructions, the castle gained its present attractive appearance. You can visit the castle. It has museum permanent exhibition inside. Next to the castle, there is an impressive limestone rock visible in all postcards, folders and photos. This rock is called the Kajel or Bludgeon of Hercules due to its distinctive shape. Oitsuf Castle This fortress also comes from the second half of the 14th century. But differently than Pieskowa Skała Castle, after several cycles of renovations and destructions, currently the castle stands as the picturesque and renovated ruin. There is a nice greenhouse near the parking place, next to which there is a road towards the castle. At the beginning of the 20th century, there was a waiting room for the bus stop station in this house. Today, there is a souvenir shop and a tourist office inside. And you can clearly see, from inside the building, a tree is sticking out of the roof. Another characteristic building in Oitsuf is the chapel na wodzie, which means on the water. This pretty chapel is located in the place of the former spa baths, which were converted into a sacred building in 1901. The on the water chapel was built for the patients of the healing facility, so that they wouldn't have to wander to the distant parish church. Speaking of churches, I cannot forget about the charming little church in Grodzisko. It is almost in Oitsuf. You can reach it on foot, going up the high hill straight from the road to Oitsuf. The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church owes its appearance to the priest Sebastian Piskorski. This lovely little gem combines three styles – Baroque, Renaissance and Romanesque. In the interior of the church, the lack of space is broken by some perspective tricks. For example, colonnades near the main altar consist of smaller and smaller elements, giving an illusion of depth. This illusion is heightened by the arrangement of the floor, whose black and white pattern thicken towards the main altar. Near the church, quite unexpectedly, there's a statue of an elephant with an obelisk 
on its back. The statue was placed here in 1687 to honor the Polish king John III Sobieski for the victory in the Battle of Vienna. After this victory over the invading Ottoman Turks, the Pope and other foreign dignitaries hailed Sobieski as the savior of Vienna and Western European civilization. From the hill on which the church and the statue are located, there is a fantastic view of the surrounding area. The entire Oitsuf National Park is like cheese filled with holes. These holes lead to over 700 caves, where remains of prehistoric people are still being found. One of the most valuable archaeological sites in Poland is Ciemna Cave, Dark Cave, located high above the Prounik Valley. As everywhere in the Oitsuf National Park, there is a picturesque view in from of its entrance and from the plateau above it. Now you are looking at summer frames because in autumn and winter the dark cave is closed due to bats hibernating here. In the Paleolithic this beautiful view was also practical. It perfectly located moving herds of animals. In the dark cave, artifacts from the Deep Paleolithic to the early Middle Ages have been discovered. The most interesting ones were left by the Neanderthals. Neanderthals stayed here several times until the 54,000 years BP. They lived in a rock shelter next to the cave. Even they were reconstructed there. Of course, numerous tools used by Neanderthals have been found, but that's not the most interesting. A special discovery are the phalanges of the fingers of a Neanderthal child aged 5 to 7 years. Their appearance indicates that they passed through the digestive tract of a large bird. The phalanges are 115,000 years old. Amazing discovery! Even it's hard for me to interpret it. Did the bird attack the child? Could it have eaten the dead? Could it have been a ritual burial, exposing the body to the birds? Such burials are known almost to this day. But where did these bones in the cave come from then? And what kind of bird could it be? Today, the biggest bird of prey is the harpy eagle, Harpia harpia from South America. Harpia measures about one meter. Its wingspan is about two meters. The harpia catches its victims with claws over 12 centimeters long. Did so big predator live 115,000 years ago? Or maybe even bigger? Did it leave the bones in the cave? Did the Neanderthals bring them there? Or maybe this whole situation has something to do with initiation? We will probably never know. Anyway, situations where the phalanges of the fingers were cut off were known from among the primitive tribes. A finding from the later Paleolithic from the Obwazowa cave in the Polish Subcarpathian region shows that the phalanges of the fingers had some ritual significance. 
The link to the video about the findings from the Obuazova cave is in the description below. So, if you want to see the place of these interesting findings with your own eyes, then I have good news for you. The Chemna cave, dark cave, can be visited. From June to mid-September, a guide shows the cave. Tickets are bought at the ticket office at the foot of the rock containing the cave. Outside the indicated period, the cave is closed due to bats wintering here. And with that, I end today's story. Please subscribe if you like it. And till the next time. Bye bye.